Hey everybody, this is a quick tutorial video on how to use a drawing tool within Chrome, Google Chrome. So if you type in canvas.apps.chrome, you will get to this website. It will also be linked whenever I ask you to use it. It'll be linked to that assignment. You can just click the link. Now mine has a lot of things that I've drawn in the past, so there's a lot of pictures here already, but when you first log in, click get started, you probably won't have anything here and you'll have to select new drawing to start a new drawing. Now, this is kind of like a paint application. You can use it for lots of different things. Over here, we have a pencil option. This is kind of like a um, pastel, a marker, a pen, a pencil. Oh, this must just be the eraser. Sorry about that. And then up here, you can choose different colors. There's some colors already pre-made or you can go custom and you can create, you know, infinite number of colors here. Once you have chosen your color, you can change the size of your writing utensil here and you can draw away. Okay, so if I wanted to draw, for example, a molecule of water, I could choose my marker, make a, a big fat circle there, change the color to some kind of a red and then come over here and I could just click that. Now there would be my oxygen in this case. And then I can switch over to maybe a gray and change my size down a little bit. And every oxygen has a couple of hydrogens attached to it. And so I might, for example, draw a water molecule that looks like that, two hydrogens attached to an oxygen. So that's a molecule. You can use this tool to draw whatever you need to draw. And once you're done, when you click this little home button, it'll take you to your gallery and you will see your picture. You can use these little dots right here, little snowman three dots here. You can name your image. So I can name this water molecule, click okay. And then you can download it or save it, save it as an image. You can do this on your device, whether it's a Chromebook or not, you can save it as an image and then it will save it to your computer. Then when you are in Canvas, not, not this Canvas, but Canvas, our class Canvas, you can upload that image into Canvas and submit it as part of your assignment. So hopefully this was helpful and we will see you guys in class and have a great time drawing with that tool.